Hello, my name is Debbie Williamson, and today I'm going to teach you uh, how to vibrato for violin and viola. Um, there are many methods of learning how to vibrato, and I have used many methods myself, but today I'm going to show you my favorite. Um, I originally took a class at the National String Workshop, and I was very impressed with the method. Um, it was taught by the two authors of Viva Vibrato, and I've used the method ever since. Um, you will need, for this um, exercise, you'll need your instrument, violin and viola, no bow, and you'll need a single sheet of toilet paper. Um, there's a couple prerequisites to learning vibrato that you'll need to know, and that is, first of all, no lazy wrist, like this, because you can see that you won't be able to vibrato if it's like that, okay? So your, your wrist has to be upright and uh, so that it's out of the way. The second prerequisite is that you hold tight with your neck, okay? That you can hold the instrument like this. And I strongly suggest using a shoulder rest because it's so much easier to hold. So that frees up your hand and it's able to do anything. So I'm going to teach you three different methods, three different uh, positions that we're going to practice these exercises. Rest position, which you probably already know. Second position is shotgun position. Put your right hand underneath. Left hand is free to vibrato. And then the last position is playing position. So we'll be going between each of these positions as we practice. Tear off a corner of your toilet paper. Doesn't have to be really big. Okay, let's start with rest position. Use your second highest string, whatever instrument you're playing, and just lightly, without pressing down the string, pretend like you're polishing the instrument. Just polishing it all up. Your finger is on the string, but it's not pushing down. Okay, go all the way from your neck to your instrument. And please use your wrist. Don't use your arm and leave your wrist solid. Use your wrist. So just kind of go back and forth. Okay, and then you can try this in shotgun position and playing position. Okay, now I'm just condensing this, but you should practice just these exercises for uh, several days, maybe even a week or two. Um, so then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now we're gonna again go to rest position and we're gonna polish our big, polish the whole fingerboard. Now go to a smaller spot. Just keep polishing. And now keep your vibrato going, but go even smaller. And again, you can practice this in the three positions. Shotgun, smaller, and smaller. Do not stick your finger and in playing position. Smaller and smaller. Once you're good at this and you can um, keep your wrist relaxed doing it, put the tissue away and let's try it just sliding the string. It's a little bit harder to slide, but don't depress the string. Okay, now polish a smaller spot and then try to keep your vibrato going and stick. It's like, oh, there's some glue on my fingerboard. Let's stick it. And again, practice this in all the positions. Shotgun and playing position. Smaller, stick. Okay, it's at this point, you know, if you've had a lot of practice with that, you can add your bow and see how that, that goes. Um, I suggest starting with second finger and doing the whole vibrato technique, learning that, then go to third finger, then fourth, and finally first finger, because there's more tension between thumb and first finger than there is between any of your other ones. So leave first finger till last. Thank you so much and good luck with your vibrato.